collective. Albert Cabernard, let me say this to you. I would have had more respect for you if you would have uh, been a real man and came to me like a real man. Because, see, you was already married. And I had already told you after the 28th of my birthday, it was going to be over if you hadn't walked away yet, right? Not knowing that you had uh, planted your seed off into a hooker. Okay, well, that's what you should have said. But the reason why you talking about, well, my brother died and uh, I was going through stuff and, and I didn't feel like he and you fussing and stuff. I wasn't fussing. That, that, and I told you that made no sense to me whatsoever. But then um, the, your brother died November, the, got killed November the 4th. You left November the 5th. The reason why you left and didn't say nothing when you left, first of all, you knew you had gave me a STD. And you took your little hole to get uh, fixed up and cleaned up. But not you let me walk around. But see, that was the part that was part of the plan, boy. That was part of the plan. But anyway, you should have told me the real reason you live. Then you wouldn't have to be getting drugged by your dick. Okay? So what you what you should have told me when you left Katana, look, I, I I was fucking with somebody else and I got somebody pregnant. It ain't nothing I could do because I was the side bitch. You understand what I'm saying? I was your side bitch. But what you did, you did about it all wrong. You went, went, left your wife, told your wife who who I was, and blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. But you went to a child thinking you had a hoe that licked you in your ass that licked everybody in their ass. But she said, I take your man, I take your man, I take your husband. Yes, you can. Bitch, you can take anybody, man, or husband if you doing that because a real woman ain't going to stoop that low to be with a man. Goddamn, not lick his ass and his balls and his dick. You got us fucked up. You're right. You are a better woman. You're trash can. So you deserve it because he deserved you because he a trash can nigga. So, and, and, and then on top of that, to go get a child that's younger than all four of his motherfucking kids. And then build a, build a bitch up while you out there busting your ass every day at work, motherfucker fucking in your house. Fucking in the house you put a bitch in that don't do nothing, that don't go to work, that badly wash her motherfucking pussy. And you gonna talk about me to make her look good? You got just what the fuck you deserve. And by the way, how it feel to know you be with a hoe? You lost your motherfucking wife. You lost me. I was your twin. And you lost your hoe. Because the baby ain't yours. How you like that? And you got yourself caught up in some criminal bullshit because you wanted to build a hoe up. That's what you get, you naive motherfucker. You think everybody wants you. Don't know everybody wants you. They see that city suit you got on and your money ain't not long at all. Your money ain't long. Baby, we was fucking with city workers when we was 18 and 19. What the fuck do you mean? We had them city workers lined up in an original apartment. Me, Debbie. Angie, Sandy, all of us had a motherfucking party. We had a city. If it ain't my uncle Wolf and Harry or 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 or, or what's that motherfucking name Debbie used to go, Where? that Lauren, or or all of them pulling up. We come on, man. Them days is over. Them was the good days. All right, we was getting that city money then. We were getting that city money then. Okay, so that city suit don't mean a motherfucking thing to me. Because we had a city man. A city man, just another man with a goddamn job. What'd he do? All right. Okay. And they hire criminals. And I'm one too, so I can have a city job. So a city job don't make a no motherfucking body. I can go get a city job at the sanitation department, just like every other criminal that's in that bitch. Okay. So bitches. I hope you proud of yourself, my nigga. And the bad thing about it, catch you knew me. You knew who I was. You knew what I was about. And you know I'm not that type of person. But, cat, you were so gone ho up under that bitch. That bitch had you doing spell work against me. You laughed at me. And you hurt my heart. The things that was coming out your mouth. Because I was like, are you serious? 
And I cried many a night. Because I wasn't understanding why you would do me like that. And why you would lie on me the way you lied. And the things that came out your mouth about me, my nigga. I was never dependent on you. You ain't gave me much nothing. I never asked for nothing. Anything I asked you for was never a, a whole lot of nothing because I'm not materialistic. Anything that I mainly wanted from, from you was to do with my goddamn house. Or give me, you gave me $700 on that car. You put the damn payment on that car. I paid the car, no, my nigga. What you talking about? What you talking about what you did for me? That house? That house that I lived in, you pay rent twice. Twice. Everything else I did that bit. For a whole six months, I lived in that motherfucker without paying one dime. Because the motherfucking house needs to be fixed up. And Mr. Lies said, well, if you fix it up, however long it take, okay. It took me two days, but I told him it was six months. Because it looked that way. The inside was done. I, I painted that motherfucker, y'all. I painted that whole motherfucking house. The inside, the bathroom painted pink. I did everything on my own because I was proud to be getting my own motherfucking place, man. And had I known that you wasn't want, you was full of shit, I wouldn't have been doing all that so you could come. You act like you was finna leave your wife and move in. We was finna move together. That's why I did all of that, my nigga. That's why I was loyal to you, my nigga. That's why I was 100 for, to you, my nigga, for three and a half years. Confirmation. Thank you, Lord. It wasn't because I was weak, bitch, because I'm not weak. Ho. Now you know you was fucking with the wrong motherfucker. And you listened to motherfuckers that didn't give a shit about me nor like me, but the same motherfuckers that I helped because I had an inheritance that belonged to me. I had money that would belong to me. Y'all even had an insurance policy out on my daddy. That's from what I hear. The insurance policy you and your wife took out on me or you and your girlfriend took out on me, the insurance policy. I'm still here. I ain't going nowhere. I hope it was all worth it. And the only thing I've ever told you that you could fucking do for me is make it right, bitch. And making it right is going to the goddamn police, telling the police what the fuck happened. That's the only thing you can do for me. You can't do nothing else for me. You can't apologize to me. You can't do nothing, but you can make it right. Because you made false police reports on me, Albert Cat Bernard, that I had somebody to hurt you. I ain't got no money to pay nobody to hurt you. And you ain't that good enough for me to hurt, nigga. You ain't the one. You ain't. I don't love no nigga like that. I ain't, I don't love no nigga enough to where I want them to be hurt because they don't want me. I ain't weak like that. I hurt my motherfucking self. I don't need nobody to hurt nobody. Ask Gary. Ask Mr. Rudy. Ask Jerome. Ask him. I'm a goddamn fool. I fight a lion. Knowing I ain't going to win, but I ain't that motherfucker you say I am. That you tried to make me to be. And for the Bernard family in, 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 in uh, 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 Abbeville, Louisiana, y'all brother told y'all a whole motherfucking lie. It wasn't me. And if your brother, and, and, and you know what, Kat, I always said this. That bitch had your brother killed. <laughs> See, you thinking you was hurting me? Now, she had your brother killed. I still say Hazel Black Bernard had your motherfucking brother killed because you left her ass to go with somebody else or whatever y'all plan was or he might not even be dead. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. But I tell you what, it's enough of everybody else getting the praise and I get dogged. My mouth is going to spit out nothing but the truth. And y'all, if y'all know y'all done me wrong, I'm I'm, 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 I'm telling on y'all too if I think y'all had a part in it. Just so y'all know. I don't give a fuck. I'll go to court and the judge say, why you? Because everybody had a part in it. I don't know which is which and I just said what I had to say. So the ones that go in the court, the ones, the ones that was doing the do, I'm speaking on them. Yeah, the devil. 
Let me do a read right quick for this clip of deck. See what come out. Spirit, give me a quick read. Angel came at the, at the bottom of the month. The devil at the bottom. Archangel Michael, Archangel gave. Give me a quick tarot read for the collective before I close this out. Yeah. On oh, these motherfuckers. Playing with my goddamn life like I ain't nobody for a hoe. You gonna go play play with a hoe and try to take me out with this hoe. If the hoe wanted you, that's the last thing would have been on her mind is me. If she can take you so bad, if she could take you so bad and she a bad bitch, why she use magic? Why she pausing you? And then work with your goddamn wife. Y'all stupid. Y'all some stupid motherfucker. <laughs> but I'm crazy. I bet I'm not. First card out. Ooh, four swords. Somebody praying. Pray on, motherfucker. What they praying for, spirit? It's three people praying. Mm-hmm. They fell out too many. What's the What's the next card, spirit? Okay, fell on top of the phone at 111. Oh, yeah. That's the two of swords. People woke up. To, people done woke up about these two people right here. People done woke up about these two people I'm speaking on. Somebody want to apologize. Keep that shit. I don't want no apology. Bring my goddamn money. Fuck an apology. Yeah, they want to apologize to you. know what people what people done woke up to? The magician. The magician card that came out. Mm-hmm. He done found out the truth. Mm-hmm. The baby ain't here. Mm-hmm. He want to put... Did you put her in a condo? Where she at? In Florida? Where she at? She in Florida. You put her in a condo? And where? New York? Where she use my information at? Huh? Sideways. Yeah. Y'all praying. The sun. The sun. You, whoever praying, they praying they can go toward the sun. The sun is this high priestess. Oh, wow. And the magician, you know why you praying? So y'all go toward this high priestess because she finna get her inheritance back out each everything. And then some more Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you know what? This high priestess is de defensive and she protected and she know the truth. And that's that. She know the truth about her inheritance and she know the truth about the magic was done on her. And she know that you worked with some people and now your motherfucking cup is empty and now you want to act like a king. Don't do it. Don't do it. Walk away, the ancestors said, because everybody woke up now. Everybody know the truth is out. Everybody know the truth is out about all of these options that you had. Everybody that you worked against. The, the Sagittarius, you walked away. The, the ancestors say, walk away, Sag. Walk away. You are the star and leave these three motherfuckers that they, you done already got rid of the other three. They laying down. So that must be the golden girl. All right. So the other two that's still standing must be these uh prostitute hoes. Huh? Your baby mama. Yeah. They just verified that. Huh? They still standing. But you know what? <laughs> Love her. You celebrated with these people. But this Sagittarius, you celebrated with him. You thought you had the world in the palm of your hand. You did. You did. But this judgment on you, your wife. Now it's somebody being defensive toward their wife. A king of, a queen of Pentecost. Yeah, y'all fighting. You know why? You know why? Because your wife, did she leave you out in the cold? He left you. You left your wife out in the cold. You left the, and you left this other hoe out in the cold. And guess what? Y'all under investigation. The investigation is out. Everybody know what happened with this married couple. Y'all thought y'all was going to get the victory. Y'all show fake love. They show fake love to you. And guess what? Uh, I chopped that shit right down. Uh, and I'm going to hear about, about all of y'all. Bam, bam. Goodbye. Hope I'm missing. I'm a lying motherfucker.